Three goals to two in this third chunker here on the lawns. Beautiful weather and in South America very much on the attack. It's uh, Nick Gonzalo and it's uh, the ball's loose. Near side backhander by Francesco Cabreras. Cabreras on the ball, near side backhander again. South America gets up to his number two. That's Nick Gonzalo. Nick Gonzalo just doesn't get the Johnny Hope for. Under the deck by Nick Gonzalo. Near side backhander commits his shot by Julian David. And uh, it's England trying to t- t- turn the game now. But it's a lovely four shot by the number four from South America, Ronald Deverin. And it's getting very near goal. The ball's loose. It's overwritten. And it's still in front of goal. But England turned the game. England trying to clear the ball away. And it's run over the goal line for a hit. And it'll be uh, Ronald Deverin going round. Ball on the goal line to do a drive. There's a long drive driving the ground. Gets number two, Nick Gonzalo. Oh, Gonzalo on the ball now. But it's uh, Ronald Deverin. 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 Good shot by Deverin, Deverin for South America. White shot. England coming in now. Ball Travers. But it's Francesco Cabreras on the ball for South America. The white shirt. Cabreras again. Going for the walk. It's hard ridden by David Julian. But uh, Cabreras trying to get round. Gets off the ball again now. So for sure, it's overridden the ball. England trying to get possession. It's Sam Howard gets the ball now. Over oh, Cabreras. Looks injured. Leaning over his horse now. Cabreras comes to the side of the ground. Pony taking towards the pony lines. The whistle stopped the game, of course. Down past him. Cabreras is full. He's lying flat on the ground now. Getting boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got to go. Four five to base over. Doyle, where are you? Watching cricket, sir. Cricket? What the devil are you doing watching cricket? Well, it's uh, quite a popular sport, sir. I know that. Doyle, where are you watching? Where is Bodie? Uh, Lockley's. Bodie's playing for his old mob. Hey, Bodie's just scored another four. Uh, it's against um, Met Police 11. Well, it's a pity you weren't watching Polo. Francesco Cabreras, son of the president of San Ibrez, has been assassinated on the field at Highley. I want you both out here, fast. On our way, out. Blow the whistle on me. Okay. I think if I told Carly that, he'd have. Yeah, right. It's Cabrera's kid. Is he the one in all the gossips? Yeah. 19, still wet behind the ears. They can't get to the dictator, should they shoot the kids? Maybe they should try democracy.
present for you and your friend, Sherry. I just happened to notice. I thought rock star, people like that. Or people who wanted people to think that, you know? Yes, yes, an attention getter. Yes. Silly, really. I mean, how can they see out of them? Tinted windows. Oh, they can see perfectly well, excuse me. Not much doubt about it. There's got to be the light blue coupe. The well, question is, where would they ditch it? Nobody's going to drive around in a car that hot. Some kids saw it. Got half the registration number, sir. Which half? Back half. We'll have to start, isn't it? You're right. They'd have to ditch it fast. The local boys are covering a 12 mile radius. The counties are picking up the overlaps. Service area off a motorway. <laughs> oh, great. Think of the possibilities. Right, on your way. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Uh, Davis. I think we have all the details. Girlfriend? Huh? No, uh, stepsister. The consulate got hold of her. Nice looking. Yeah. But uh, under the circumstances. Motorway. Yeah. Didn't even get a cucumber sandwich. Por qué, Francisco? Él no sabía nada de esos asuntos. Montar, nadar es todo lo que sabía. Los marichos. ¿Quién ni qué sé? Los marichos. Posiblemente, probablemente. ¿Quién sabe? Uh, excuse me. Miss Cabrera's Cowell ECI 5. My condolences. A terrible tragedy. Now they strike out. At home, nothing. But here, everything is possible. It might seem that way. It is that way. Francisco has been killed. And we will seek out his killer. That won't bring him back. Haven't tried the doors, have you? No, sir. Told to stay off. Bomb squad coming? I told to wait for you boys. Oh, great. Anything? No, nothing yet. Oh, yeah, we got one. All right, get them back. I think that little cigarette packet's got more smoke left in it, don't you? Jack it up. We can try. <laughs> Francisco was staying with you, Miss Cabreros. No, he was staying at Claridge's with Senor Ochoa. Oh? My apartment is not suitable. But you saw him on this trip. We had dinner with some of the team last night. It was a wonderful evening. How long have you been over here, Miss Cabreros? Three years. At London University? Yes, a doctorate in philosophy. And then back to Sandy Rose. Perhaps. Bit more. Bit more. Bit. Stop. All right, up. Keep going. How's it going? A bit more, nearly there. Whoa. Don't tread on it. Okay. Oh, the bomb squad. Oh, they will be pleased. I don't do it anymore. I don't need to. Oh, your wife's on the game, is she? Uh, better than that. Divorced. She's married money and I'm home free. <sighs> Stuffy in there. What happened to that young kid, the uh, evil Knievel bit? The one who did his legging. Did his legging? Yeah. Oh, the, the fair-haired one. Norman. God knows. Ah, Ma, known associates. You stood in the dock together not long ago. Quashed on appeal. Hardly know him. Good wheel man, so they tell me. With a dodgy leg? Yeah. He should have stuck to what he was good at. <laughs> the glamour of showbiz. Evil can evil. Yeah, he could still lift the odd motor, though, couldn't he? Ready him up a bit. Uh, possibly. I don't think anyone would bother with him. Yeah, well, someone did. We found his prints on one yesterday. 
Well, print's half a print, but enough. See, it's all very well driving with gloves on, but when it comes to playing a tune on the engine, well, you might think that you've wiped all the prints off, but uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, he's done a very nasty job, that. Very nasty. Oh, don't tell him we're looking for him. We don't like a lot of help. Leave it out. Man's retired. He might get a job on some dodgems at a fun fair. That's about it. Still use his hands, can't he? He has done. Not for me, he hasn't. I told you he's finished. His nerves gone. If he ever had any. Man's got to eat, though, hasn't he? Well, that is a comfort. Coming from you, lot. Four five. Your friend, the car dealer, took it beautifully. Well, his phone or the box on the corner? Over. The box had to be a number at this address, 21 Sunderland Mansions, Booker Street. No, well, sir, very salubrious area. Over. Straight from the bank teller, no currency restrictions. This is quite a payoff. Yeah, not bad for stealing a car. Took it Friday night in Soho. Kept it under wraps, 36 hours, and tuned it up. Yeah, good money. I accept that I got him killed. If what the Cabrera's girl says is right, this is money from the Moretus Fighting Fund to pay our hoodlums to do their work for them. The Moretus? A terrorist group. The islands are riddled with them. What's it like, this, Sonny Brett? Oh, the halves have it all. The peasants have what they stand up in. How did the president take the news? His security chief's coming over. Oh, great. That'll be a big help. Found the Volkswagen. Practically tripped over. It was in a garage under some flats. Prince? Uh, no, I doubt it. The wheels as clean as a whistle. Stolen? No, a straight cast job. Didn't even change a place. Buyer? Uh, a girl. They say she's blonde, pretty, but instantly forgettable. <laughs> Sad journey. Yes. Not much of a life. It's been another killing. The car thief? 
Yeah, he was just a kid, too. But he was a mercenary. He took their money, whoever they are. They call themselves revolutionaries. Fighting their battles on our soil. When are you leaving, Miss Cabreros? For the funeral? I'm not. I've said my farewells. Won't you be missed? I doubt it. That's, I'm afraid, Captain Hidalgo is where the trail ended. And do you intend to leave it there? No. The list of suspect expatriates you provided will be thoroughly investigated. They work hand in hand, these dissidents. They do each other's dirty work. Our record against the various dissidents, as you call them, is quite good. The President is well aware of that. I was a wee bit surprised to learn that Miss Cabreras was not returning home for the funeral. <laughs> Anita will do as she pleases. Our poor little rich girl was always somewhat wayward. She made a rather unfortunate marriage, I understand. Unfortunate? She was never a great favorite of the president, but she was, after all, his stepdaughter, and he tried to be a father to her. Who was her real father? He died some years ago, a man of good family. One of the ruling families? Yes. What happened to Anita's marriage? The husband is one of these poolside Adonises. She saw through him eventually. The marriage was dissolved, but not without some unfortunate publicity. And Anita's mother? Despairs of her. According to the maitre d, he's an honorable, right honorable. I'll bet he is. Agentson. Nigel, would you believe? Yeah, I would. Ooh. What's that? I don't know, mate. You ordered it. Records think I'm mad, you know, asking for a 2 5 on him. He's a well known Deb's delight. The original. Hooray, Henry. Probably thinks Latin America's a place where you speak Latin. Well, it is, isn't it? I think we can leave this to one of the juniors. Yeah, so do I. Go on, cuff up. Let's get a bite to eat, shall we? No, well, let's give this place a little whirl, shall we? A nice discreet table. Hey, on expenses? Yeah, why not? Joking, Callie, he'll kill you. Nah. Nah, it's not good enough for you, mate. Now, I see half a pound of broiled minced beef, sesame buns, sliced onion, assorted relishes. Tweet on the premises or take away? Take away, good game on the box. You're on. Keep the change. Hi. Hi. Mr. Doyle. Right. Ray Doyle. Ray. And to what do I owe this pleasure? Ray. Concern. About what? Your safety. Oh, I see. Well, I've been here quite a while and no one's shown any concern before. It was before Francisco was killed. Now, I suppose they came after you, Miss Cabreros. Anita. Anita, yeah. It is a possibility. Yes. Of course we did the grand tour, jet style. And of course I was finished off, Geneva and Paris. Paris for the flowers and place settings. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did it all again later, when I married. That was quite a celebrated affair, wasn't it? Mm. Ronnie it had been an affair. Just an affair. A rough ride. Very. What happened to him? Ramos? Mm -hmm. Selling Japanese cars to the Argentinians. He bought the concession. Not bad for a beach bum. Yeah, where did he get the money from? Was he paid off? I paid him off. Of course, he squandered a lot of it. Casinos, the ladies, but he bounced back. <laughs> you know what his name is? No. Fortuno. <laughs> Ramos de Fortuno. And I provided the fortune. You use your stepfather's name. Oh, that's normal enough. I didn't particularly wish to go on being known as La Senora di Fortuna. Yeah, but not your own father's name. He was quite a hero, wasn't he? How do you know that? Just, uh, normal inquiries. But who would tell you that? So, my father, the liberal, the man of the people. There's a statue of him in the main square. The president unveiled it. 
Oh, I loved him, of course. And his name is respected, more so with the passage of time. Mr. Doyle, Ray. Truthfully, my father was not such a great libertarian. He would be cross at any such suggestion. Cross at being a hero? My father was an aristocrat. They tend to assume heroism. He was a gentleman, a concerned person, but not with matters like equality, socialism. How about uh, human rights? Women's lib? A little before his time. There's no such thing as women's lib in my country. Of course, at our, my level, by right of birth, position, but even then, despite the wealth, we are kept in our place. So why you don't go back? I will, in time. With your doctorate in philosophy? <laughs> yes. And will you be into human rights? I shall do what I can. Is that why you don't believe you could be on any assassination list? No. I might be. You might be right. I'm now under a bed, okay? Okay, three seven. <sighs> Do you get all that? Doing the housework, dearie. Oh, someone should. I'm choking to death here. Eh? Bedside phone. Excellent. Lounge curtains. Well done. Record player. Now. Tape deck. Drive. How's your day making up? Oh, not too exerting. What are you doing later? I don't know. Fancy a game of squash? Yeah, maybe. Early-ish, though. Why, you got something on? I'm not sure yet. There's a Bunuel movie on at the Academy. Oh, yeah. Going alone. Well, I might be. How you make out with the Cabrera girl? Yeah, well, that's a very tricky case. It could take up a lot of my time, you know. Does the boyfriend know? The right honourable jerk? No, the, uh, French one. What French one? Well, I think he's French, you know, he's talking French, all that man and more. <laughs> he's in there now. Where are you? In the buggy boo. Yeah, whereabouts in the buggy boo? Porter Street, around the corner from the lady. I'm joining you, friend. <laughs> Oh, I just wondered, didn't want you being cuckolded, that's all. <laughs> what time's your Bunuel movie starting? You think you're making it? All oh, right, all oh, right. What's happening? Not a lot at the moment. Oh, relax, you turned him down. So soon after the bereavement. Yeah. Yeah. What are you making it? I'll have to brush up on my French, mate. Sounds smooth, though. Mind you, if a French meat the fat stock prices, sounds amorous, doesn't it? Hey, switch it through, then. Kitchen. Kettle lid. Put in the kettle. Oh, how cozy. I've just been buying her lunch. Expenses are to buy me out. Je suis désolé. 
pêche et j'ai été négligé ces derniers temps. Is anybody see him go in? That's a block of flats. One one eight. Nine three. Man living via fire escape on second floor. Heading for street. Should be in view now. Over. One one eight. Cream jacket, black trousers. Check. Three seven. One one eight. Possible sus just left via fire escape. Over. You look French. He might have been seeing La Marseilleuse. I'm not that close. Over. Uh, one one eight. This is four five. Where are you headed? Over. Garrett Grove into Red Mile. Headed south. Over. Okay. Stay with him. Has he got wheels? Over. Taxi. License plate Lima Sierra X Ray three two Sierra. Hackney carriage plate six zero one three. Over. Yeah. Okay. We got that. Uh, stay with him. I'll do an overlap. Four five out. Frenchman crept out on us. Speedy Gonzalez. Four five three seven. Three seven. Yeah, uh, we better send that roll to the voice lab. Check on the accent. Over. Oh, what a good idea. Oi. Sign that, will you? On its way. Out. Twice. Protection. Protection? You call it protection to snoop on me? Wait a minute. Now look, you don't have to smash the place up. Look, you're gonna have to live with this, you know. Live with this? You think I can live here after this? After you and your grubby little men have crawled all over it? My God, I'd rather live in a tent, in a hovel, and put up with this invasion. If you'll just calm down and stay in one place for long enough, I'll find them for you. I'll take them out. All right. Find them. All of them. And the rest. I want all of them. All. Huh. 
Now you don't know where they are. You pretend. All right. Okay. Yeah. The others? Where are the others? There are four of them. Well, where are they? <laughs> That's government property. My boss isn't going to like this. And my embassy is not going to like this. Your embassy is very interested in the capture of the man or woman or murder person who have ever shot your poor stepbrother. And so am I. How dare you trick me with all that rubbish about your concern. Concern for my safety while all the time you just... We are still concerned with your safety. Oh, good evening, sir. Good evening, Doyle. Miss Cabreras. Dios mío, esta gente. Miss Cabreras is very distressed about what she considers to be an unwarranted intrusion on her privacy. Intrusion? Yes, yes, Miss Cabreras. I, I know how you must feel about all this, but it was necessary. Necessary? Necessary to establish that I'm a normal person. Necessary to establish that at my age I actually have a lover. Your lover, Monsieur Lacoste. Lacoste? Yes, René Lacoste. That's not his name. The man who was here this afternoon was Pepe Fierro. Is this Mr. Fierro? Yes, that's Pepe. René. René Lacoste, age 26, born in the Basque region of France in De Subre, near Bayonne. A known sympathizer with the separatist movement. With dubious connections in Italy and Germany, both in... But why shouldn't he be a sympathizer with the separatists? That doesn't make him an activist. Both in politics and in the trafficking of drugs. So he smokes pot. Yeah, his name is not Pepe Fierro. And his drug connections are somewhat harder than marijuana. So, you removed the box for her, eh? That's right. Cali, okay, that? More or less? More or less. In a sense. In what sense? Well, I didn't actually remove them, I replaced them. Ah. Well, that accounts for it, then. Accounts for what? Why, she didn't sleep very well last night. <sighs> On her own, of course. Yes, uh, she was pacing about, tossing and turning. Received a couple of calls, too. One about midnight, the other one one o'clock. Didn't answer, though. Wonder why. I'm not going to ask her that. I don't think you should, mate. She might try and wrap a lamppost round your neck. Oh, spirited girl. She's got a lot of spirit. Yeah, thoroughbred. Highly strong. Takes a molding. A bit like a polo pony, you know, quick on the turn. Yeah, they're very sensitive to the bit, aren't they? Well, you better hurry, mate. School's out. What did she have for breakfast? Uh, sounded like cereal. Yeah, you snap, crackle, and pop. Well? Yeah, very well, thanks you. What do you want? Your friend contacted you, yeah? No. Well, if he does, you will call us. I said I would. I called you last night. No reply. I switched the phone off. I'd had enough conversation for one day. Yeah, I know what you mean. Listen, there are certain aspects of my job I'm not entirely happy with, you know? I can imagine. Can you? I wonder if you can. We do have secret police in my country. It's not the same. In the name of democracy. Oh, there are some quite dubious people's democracies around. Yeah, and they all have different ideas of what's civilized. Oh, you should take up philosophy. Only if I can sit next to you. You're going to buy me another sandwich? I'll do better than that. No, a sandwich will do. I've got another lecture. Plastic wrappers on plastic sandwiches. Could have done better. <laughs> That's what the headmistress put on my report at Rodine. Could do better. Was she right? Possibly. Question of values. I wish... I wish our meetings could be brought about by happier circumstances. Yeah, so do I. Listen, if René contacts you again, you've got to go through with this. I know. 
It's hard to believe anyone could be so cold-blooded, so cruel. What, to use you just to get to your stepbrother? No. Rene's fighting a war. Francisco was an enemy, a class enemy. If he surfaces again, we'll nominate another candidate, somebody he won't be able to resist. All right. Good. I'll see you. Hi. Hi. Who's the English guy? English? Someone I met. Interesting. Mm. Ran into Pepito last night. Oh, hi. V, hi. Money to burn, if you know what I mean. Where? Ah, oh, Hampstead and Points North. You still seeing him? Yes. What do you do with your leftovers? Do a meatloaf? Thank you. Hello, you're very punctual. If I'm going to be investigated, I might as well be with the investigator. I thought you'd got over that. Did you bring a note? You mean you haven't read it? You agreed to help. I know. Doesn't say a lot. Do you eat French? <laughs> Annie knows how to turn on the charm. Do you mind if I keep this? Do you mind if I have a drink? <laughs> I'm sorry. There's somebody I want you to say hello to. Raoul! Hello, Annie. Gabby and Averta de Nuevo. <laughs> You're all friends. We know each other well. Uh, quite well. So sad we see so little of you nowadays. Captain Hidalgo has agreed to give the Meretos some target practice. But you could be killed. So could you. If you agree to cooperate. How long is he staying? A week. What are you doing here? Shopping for defense equipment. Who's attacking? The people. Naturally. I like the look of the lady. Hmm. Such a waste. Waste? It's an expression which used to be popular with the CIA. To waste is to expend. That'll up the price. Just take care of him and leave the rest to me. One oh four to control. All clear at the house. Nine eight to control. We're on our way. A message received. Control four five out. Three seven to out. Alpha one bird has left the nest. Settled in nicely. Thank you. Four five seven seven. Yes, four five. What have you got? All cars accounted for. Four five to nine four. What have you got? They're all very tranquil. Four five over. Four five out. Fine shot. Four five to nine three. Where those horses come from? Frampton Stables. All checked out. Okay, Roger nine three four five out. Nice one. 
Nothing wrong with your reflexes. Gin and tonic on the knee, otherwise fine. Five to base over. Base to four five, go ahead. Run a fast check on an orange BMW, index number Delta Tango Whiskey 754 Tango. Four five over. <laughs> Six three is an orange BMW. Going to overtake you soon. There's a woman driving it. Stay with her, but uh, well behind. Four five over. Roger. Four five. Four five to golfers. Concentrate on the southeast section. Four five over. Bend his shot a little to the right, will you? Will do. Football now. Nine foot golfers, client sighting, dead ahead. Okay, Rob, fellas, let's go in the routine. Yeah, yeah, sure. How long? Seconds. Ten at most. All right, go!
Where do you want it, front or back? The bullet. How do you want it? Are you making out? There is beauty. And don't go stamping on that one, please. I'm in enough trouble as it is. Can't I keep it as a souvenir? Oh. I can see I'm going to have to work on you. That's the fastest fast food delivery I've ever known. Good evening, Miss Cabrera's. Uh, uh, may we come in? Oh, of course. Major Cowley, Mr. Bodie. Uh, Monsieur Lacoste is as well as can be expected, and uh, Captain Hidalgo is returning to Sunny Brest tonight. There's just one loose end. Ah, uh, yes, some equipment that we neglected to remove, if you'll permit me. Bodie, the matter is well in hand. Good evening, Doyle. I understood you'd gone off duty. Uh, I had, sir. I was, uh, I was exercising public relations. Well done, Doyle. I always approve of the personal touch. Come on, Bordier, there's a very good pub just round the corner for here. Sorry. Good night, Miss Cabreros. Good night, Major. Oh, Doyle, uh, don't... Don't be late in the morning, yes, sir. No. no. Don't forget to return the equipment. It's under your signature. <laughs> 